Oh, I've just finished fixing the ABS on this. I didn't actually video it because I didn't know what was wrong and I found it by accident. So I did it without doing a video. But it turned out to be a corroded connection just behind the inner arch liner on, on this side front wheel. So that's sorted anyway. I've had that light on for months. Oh, it's super windy today and that door's banging about. So hopefully it's, it's not too annoying for you guys. But this is a quick video anyway. And any of you guys waiting for the MR2, don't worry. I've ordered some bits for it. We're gonna do some work on it again soon. If you guys remember a bit ago, I did a video on the Audio jump starter. This one here, this has turned out to be invaluable, this. I could do with another, actually, because I keep leaving this one in here. I leave it under the seat. I could do with another one at home for the, for the MR2, because I've never got this one when I need it. But the guys from Audio have sent me something else, so let's have a look at that. These seats, these are the only thing starting to look a bit rough in here, apart from those panels, which I've got to recover next. But these seats, we're doing something special with these, so keep an eye out for that. That's going to be happening soon and these are gonna look nice. So let's have a quick look at my everyday carry that, that I keep in this vehicle. One is that jump starter. Right, in here, I've got some curtains for the front windows. Down here, I've got a little foldable shovel. I've never used it, but you never know. Right, this side, in the box, the tire inflator. We'll have a look at that in a second. Right, over this side, I've got a bottle jack because I don't like the standard jacks that come with these and they're quite heavy, so a bottle jack is a lot better for me. Some oil because I've had the oil light come on before after a long drive. Down at the bottom, which you can see, there's a breaker bar for taking the wheels off. A couple of spare headlight bulbs. I've actually got the spanners there for the coilovers because last year the gearbox went on this vehicle and I had to put it on the back of a transporting vehicle and it smashed all the front skirt. So what I've got next time is if it ever does that, I can jack it up, I can adjust the coilovers and lift the vehicle up before they have to put it on a recovery truck. And down here is a little rechargeable light. I'll have a quick look at that, I'll show you. All right, if I unzip this box, in here is a USB rechargeable light. It's got a little stand, so if we need to do anything on the vehicle, we can see what we're doing. It's got a few different settings. Really good. I'll see if I can find this on Amazon or something and I'll, I'll put a link down below. Right, so that's it for the bits I keep in there. In the back under the seat, I've got a toolkit with some sockets and spanners and screwdrivers and other little bits in, and the invaluable scotch tape and tie wraps. We always need cable ties. Jesus, that door. Right, so we'll fasten this back up. And let's have a look at this tyre inflator. Right, you'll notice actually on these tyres, you see the white stuff around there. That's because these tyres are brand new. I've just changed these and it was because of bad tyre pressure. The tyre inflator I was using was a bit dodgy and I've actually been running around with 65 PSI in these and it worn the tread out in the centres and these tyres were knackered. And I've literally, I've only had them on for about 3,000 mile as well, so this is the importance of good tyre pressure. Right, so the automatic tyre inflator from Audio. I'll put a link down below where you guys can, can get hold of one of these for yourself or have a look at. Uh, Audio have actually given me a code for a 20% discount off of this. So have a look down below. I'll put the code in the description and a link and you guys can get yourselves one of these with a 20% discount and save yourselves a bit of money. So let's have a look at the box. Basic box, 150 PSI compressor, auto shut off, LED display. We've got a few specs on the back, but it's basically 12 volt DC and it plugs into your 12 volt DC stroke cigarette lighter socket. Right, so in the box, we get a user manual and the thing itself. In the side here, we've got a little bag with some extra fittings for if you're blowing up footballs or swimming pools and a spare fuse and some spare caps for your valves. Looking at the thing itself, Plasticky finish, not a lot to say really. On the back, we've got a few little bits of instructions and some warnings to read through. Right, on the sides, one side tucked in, we've got the cable, and tucked in over this side, we've got the power adapter to plug in, and there's plenty of cable there as well. 
The other side, if we pull that out, we've got the inflator and that's got quite a bit of length on it as well. Right, so on the front, we've got some buttons. We've got the up and down button for the pressure, the set point, a go button, a light button. There's two LEDs at the top. We'll have a look at those in a minute when I plug it in. Actually, tell you what, I'll plug it in now. I'll reach through to the front with this and let's power it up. Right, so there we are, powered up. This, if you was plugged in, this will be showing your tyre pressure, your current tyre pressure. We'll have a look at that in a second when we plug it into a tyre. Uh, you can press your set point up and down. I've got this set at 40 PSI, you see. So you just put it up and down, set it at what you want, then press set. And that'll be the pressure that this is going to pump to before it automatically stops. To pump up to that pressure, you just press go. You can either press it again to stop, or it'll stop on its own when it reaches the set point. Right, in the middle we've got a caution lamp. Which as you can see, this is for like breakdown or whatever. On the end we've got a light. Press that, turns on the lights, so you can see what you're doing in the dark. Apart from that, there's nothing else to it. It's a tyre inflator. And just so you guys can see on the transporter, we've plugged into the front there. You can see how much cable there is. And we can reach right to the back wheel quite easily. And the same the other side, and this is a big vehicle. I'm going to go to the front tyre because that door's noisy. We'll try and get out of the way of it a little bit. So if I connect on here, we literally just screw this on. There we are, that's showing our current pressure now. So what I'll do is I'll just let a bit of air out this tyre and I'll show you how it works. Right, so there we are. It's now at 35 and a half PSI. I want 40 in it. You see, press the up and down, look. We'll see it's set at 40 PSI. So I'll press the set. That's what I want. That's what it is. We'll press the go. And that's it. You literally just leave it going until it stops itself. And that's it. It's a tyre inflator. It inflates tyres. Nothing to it, but super useful. And obviously, if I'd have had it before, it would have saved me quite a lot of money for those front two tyres. So if you want to get yourself one of those, check out below. There's, there'll be the discount code there as well. So you can have a look at that. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.